we would do something that I haven't done before and that is filming a what I eat in a day video. You might know that I'm on a 62 pounds weight loss journey and so far I've lost eight pounds. I really feel like okay now I figured it out for at least the next weeks and I decided to divide these 62 pounds in like 10 pounds packages so they are a bit easier to tackle when you see this video i think i have three more weeks to lose 10 pounds in this time frame but i guess we will reach it earlier i think i'm on a good way i feel very determined and also i am i feel like it kind of clicked i understand how it works at the moment and when it will not work again we will figure it out what we can do instead so in this phase which i call the kickstarter phase i concentrate mostly on writing a food protocol which sounds very restrictive but it's actually just a meal plan for the next day you write out what you're gonna eat, what you plan to eat, and then you eat that, what is on your plan. So I usually write it down in my planner the day before. I usually write down breakfast, lunch, snacks, and dinner, and also my weight, and if I did some workouts or something. And I also change things as I go when I see, okay, this didn't work out. So I will change or food went bad or I forgot an appointment or something like that. Um, I will change and rewrite my food protocol during the day. The important thing is when you don't follow your food protocol for the day, like for me that was on Wednesday, I had planned a different food for a snack, but then I came home and realized, oh, I have only 10 minutes to eat something before I have a call. So I just had to eat whatever was available as soon as possible. And that was like a sandwich. And even that I didn't manage to eat completely. And then you just use this information to plan out the next day and, tr and there you aim to be better prepared. So for the day I planned on more comfort food because I'm on my period and I decided to go for my usual breakfast which is yogurt with an apple and granola and then we will have like a chicken parmesan pasta thing for lunch which is all like heavy and creamy and very delicious um, as a snack I decided Usually I have two snacks a day, but I think the pasta will fill me up quite much, so I might need only one. And I think that today I definitely will have a chocolate chip cookie with a glass of milk. Mm, I'm really looking forward to that. And then for dinner I thought I will have a salad. My breakfast is usually very simple. I make an apple with plain yogurt and then I have homemade granola. 
sometimes if I feel fancy I will put some dark chocolate in it but usually it's just that um, it is not a big portion because I feel like not having more usually but also because I will eat lunch quite quickly afterwards like two two and a half hours later so it's usually no problem to eat just a small portion and then eat something a bit bigger for lunch I do not drink coffee I sometimes drink a glass of milk for breakfast well I like to drink tea but more like in the winter months already midday and probably time for lunch usually when I've eaten breakfast I'll be hungry again after like two to three hours since I'm on my period today I'm not really sure if I'm hungry or if I'm just in pain I don't know um, but since it's the right time I think I will just start making lunch because it will take some time anyway so I can just get started right So this tend to be a quite heavy dish so usually I try to have it like in a smaller bowl so I can eat that first and if I'm still hungry I can get a second one but I guess most people including me try to always clean their plates and then you might eat a little bit more than you need because pasta is already very filling and there's a lot of pesto and mayonnaise in this lunch so I try to have a bit less and then a little bit more later if I need to and um, yeah. let's let's try it mm. so I ate only a small bowl although I would love to eat the whole pan probably <laughs> um, but it was really good and I feel quite satisfied after a small meal but as you saw it is a big pan so usually I will freeze few of these portions so I can take it with me to work and then I probably will have something for tomorrow and the day after. So it's now three hours later and I'm hungry again so I think I will have a second helping of it. So it's now 4 p.m. and usually I would eat a snack now and then would work out but because I don't feel so well I think I would rather go for a walk and then I can have my snack afterwards because it's gonna be a chocolate chip cookie which I'm really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. I'm a little bit red. <laughs> I just came back from the walk. I I actually walked for one and a half hours and I forgot my Fitbit and I'm like 
over. Now it's not gonna be seen in my statistics, but it's okay. It's more important that I did something for my body than for an app or a tracker or whatever. In between when I had to walk up hills and had to take breaks, I got angry with myself because I'm like, this is just because you're overweight and if you had stopped binging before, this wouldn't be a problem, but it's not actually true because I have problems with breathing anyway, even when I was super fit. So it's just a story that I tell myself, but of course I'm not as fit as I was before. So I really want to go there again. And that's why I'm going for walks and train and everything. And then I have to remember to be kind to myself. So this is the cookie dough. And I made it like a few weeks ago, I think. So I made the cookie dough and then I rolled them into balls and then I thought like, you know, I'm gonna freeze all of them and every time I, I feel like when I'm having a cookie, or actually if it's on my plan, <laughs> then I will have one. And it tastes so good when it comes like fresh from the oven. I will put the link to the recipe in the description box. Okay, do you wanna see it? This is my cookie. It is actually so tasty. I love it and it smells so good and uh, with a glass of milk, it's just the best. But I also have pretty strong cramps, so I made myself a hot water bottle. So I think I will just enjoy my cookie now and a little bit glass of milk. And it's snowing outside. Welcome to spring in Norway. I mean, I've made a lot of different chocolate chip cookies in my life, but this one is the best. It's like crispy on the outside and then soft on the inside. Mm. So this is the base, like lettuce mix, apples, paprika, tomatoes, cucumber, tuna, and a little bit kiwi. I'm really excited about that. <laughs> Feeling the summer vibe. And now I will get all my seeds and nuts and everything because I love them. And uh, I finally got some walnuts, which I love. So they will be definitely in the salad. already the next day actually I didn't eat my salad last night because I was just not hungry I think I ate the cookie around 6 p.m. and I thought like well I probably will be hungry after one or two hours but so I just went to bed without it I guess it's just because I don't have cramps anymore so it is easier to feel when I'm hungry so I'm gonna eat my salad now So I'm gonna eat my salad because I'm really hungry now and I will put the links to the recipes for the chocolate chip cookies and the chicken parmesan pasta. I'll put them in the description box down below and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll see each other next Sunday. Stay magical. Bye bye.